guys, Shake and Bacon, it's me, Cassie Frass, and I'm gonna show you guys how I painted this beautiful little Saint Furby. I got inspiration off a Tumblr post. I can't remember the Tumblr user's name off the top of my head, but I'll put it up like somewhere over here so you guys know, and I'll link the post down below. But lately, I've just been really into like, um, like Catholic architecture and sort of like the imagery because I grew up Catholic and it's just, I, I just, I just think it's neat. <laughs> so I'll get on to the video for you guys. So I am using Liquitex paint as I always do because it is my favorite paint and it is light fast. The color palette I chose is because I was looking at statues of Our Lady of Sorrow and they use a lot of like deep blues and golds and it's really visually appealing to me so that's what I choose. My boyfriend finds it funny that I'm so into like this Catholic imagery because he, he's convinced that like I do bruja but that's his own thoughts. But I'm not like a really religious person even though I grew up Catholic. I wanted to go to the Catholic school, but I was like, oh, you Satanist, go to Catholic school. I'm like, I guess. So she didn't put me into Catholic school. Went off a bit of a tangent there. I'm sorry. But I like this like aqua blue, like contrasting with like the dark blues. So I put that in there, like it kind of made a gradient, but like me, of course, I painted the Furby on top of the blue, like the aqua color, so you can't even see it. So, you know, I just need to be careful when I plan stuff out more. And then, with the beak, I'm using Liquitex basic colors, and with the yellow, it is so transparent. I don't... I use like half of what was remaining in my tube, and it just... It just doesn't look nice at all! I might go over it in a while because I'm going to give myself a break from the painting and then look back on it because I'm going on a little weekend getaway and when I come back, I'll see what I think of it once I'm like relaxed and out of the mindset because sometimes you'll get like so wrapped up with a painting that's all you're like thinking about and you can't see like the little things so I like to give my paintings a break and then go look at back at them like sometimes a day or two um, a weekend and it really helps you a lot to like step back and see the big picture I guess you could say the Furby in the original picture was like stark like very white but I have a hard time painting pale colors so he just came out a little tan but that's okay I mean Furbies are Furby Furbies are like absolutely my favorite things in the world. I was obsessed with them when I was like nine years old and I had a whole collection. I even had like rare ones. Like I had a um, gizmo from the movie Gremlins Furby. And trust me, that was like my prized possession. I'm like a Furby freak. If you guys don't know, there's like a community on Tumblr about Furbies. If if you have the chat, look up Long Furby on Tumblr because it is absolutely amazing. Just like Furbies for the win. This painting was really fun to do because it's like two things that remind me of my childhood, I guess. Like, I haven't been to church and since I was like 14. And I haven't owned a fur Furby since I was like... Ooh, I honestly can't remember. I think I was 10 and I gave them all away because I was an idiot. I still love Furbies. They're amazing. And I might get back into collecting them. But let me show you the painting and how it's all done. At least for now. You never really finish a painting. You just abandon a painting. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I do have a Patreon where starting at $1 a month you get early access to videos as well as work in progress 
uh, shots that you wouldn't necessarily see on other social media sites. So, if you guys want, you could check it out. No pressure though, I do also have an Instagram and a Twitter and a Facebook page that you can check me out at. All of the links are down below in the description box. So, I'll see you later, Raiders.